Welcome Libra, we're going to be doing some predictions for you today and big welcome to those of you that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, love your support. If you do enjoy my readings, make sure to subscribe to my channel, show the love, hit that like button and the notification bell so you get notified when your next star sign reading is up on my channel. There is a competition running again this month. You can win a one hour pre-recorded personal reading with me, which helps me meditate on your energy check your Akashic record, your past life information, divine gifts and talents, as well as answer your most burning questions with the Tarot and the Oracle. Simple to enter. All you have to do is pop a comment down below this video. Let me know you want to go into the draw. I will be choosing a random winner at the end of the month and announcing it on my channel. And big congrats to the May winner, which was Jamie Beverly, who has already claimed her prize. So congrats, Jamie. And uh, my personal readings are open, so if you do want to get a personal reading with me, I'll put the booking link on here and down below. And uh, there is a promo running this month on uh, the Masterclass memberships, so you can get 50% uh, off your first month when you join in, if you're joining as a monthly member, or you can get 40% off the annual membership, which is 40% off the entire year, darlings. Uh, grab the coupon codes for those. I will put that link on here and down below. Uh, and the master classes are just a big library of personal development, self-help uh, master classes. And there's also ebooks that go with them. And there's a growing library of master classes to help you on your journey. All right, let's dive in. So pulling you an opening energy from the wisdom of the hidden realms, Oracle. Let's see what you need to know, Libra. Get a hold of it. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Oh, you pull the arrow master, which is all about you hitting the mark. So being very focused, having clear intentions, let's pull you up the guidance. It's kind of like a little elf with pointy ears. He's very cute. Mm -hmm. It says Libra. The arrow master appears to help you target your intentions and teaches you how to shoot straight for the stars. The message is deliberate about focusing your dreams and desires with intention and about aligning your intention with spirit. Then let them fly on the wind directed by the divine until they reach their goal. The only way to hit the target is to allow the arrow of your intention to fly unencumbered by your eagerness to see it travel exactly the way you want it to go. You may think it needs to veer a certain way to reach your goal. But in the invisible realms, human power cannot make this happen. The divine has its own idea of how the arrow flies and upon the wind it's carried. Nevertheless, if you don't shoot, you'll never score. It's a fortunate message as long as you remember the law of attachment. If you do so, then you'll be assured that you're right on point. So it's kind of like saying we do as much as we can and we set our intentions, put our intentions out there and show the universe what we want to do and create by the actions we take and then allow things to unfold, yeah. All right, let's see what's coming towards you, Libra. Oh, you've got the Empress, which is giving birth to your dreams. Some of you have some new things you want to kick off. I was in the challenge position, which is the king of fire. Some of you taking on a leadership role, stepping up with more confidence, public speaking. Message you've got to share with the world. Let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Okay, there's a need for you to release things that are old or no longer serve you, anything that's kind of holding you back in any way. Let's have a look at the recent past. Okay, you've got the three of earth, which is doing what you love. So some of you may have kicked off in the recent past something which has been a new path for you or a new project or career path that uh, is really about aligning with your passions. All right, let's have a look at the present. may also mean that you're doing things in your time off that are very creative. In the present moment, you've got the aid of air, which is possibly a sense of illusion or feeling stuck and spirit saying you need to take the... Uh, mask off and see things clearly about where you're holding yourself stuck. Often it's the way we're thinking about things. Yeah, because you've got the seven of earth, which is things in progress, tending to your garden. Sometimes we can have unfounded fears because things aren't progressing as fast as we want them to. Let's have a look at the near future. 
Ooh, you got the lovers. There's a true love coming in. Yeah, a very destined soulmate coming in. Let's have a look at your energy. There's two here. Okay, you've got the seven of fire, so possibly a lot coming in towards you. Feeling like you need to protect yourself. Choosing your battles wisely. Oh, it's come out with the One of Cups or the Ace of Cups, which is a brand new love offer. You offering your cup of love to someone, someone offering their cup of love to you. Let's have a look at the energy of those around you. Mm, you've got wise counsel. So you may be seeking advice from someone. Some of you may be exploring your spiritual side a bit more, joining spiritual groups, meditation groups. It's also the Five of Earth, which is fear surrounding money. So you may have somebody that you're connected to that's going through a hard time, uh, unless you're feeling this energy and spirit saying you need to seek some wise counsel on that around your finances. Any other guidance there? Oh, you got the Ten of Cups coming in. So this love is destined for a very committed partnership, home in the background, children, either having children together or bringing your children um, together in a cohesive family unit. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Okay, you've got the four of it. So there's a need for you to be very practical with your money and put savings aside. Not being impulsive with your money. Any other guidance there? Yeah, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So some things are going to suddenly shift forward. Some of you, there may be some travel on the cards. Let's have a look at the outcome. Mm. you got the Queen of Fire, which is feeling really confident, brilliant, talented. Spirit saying there's nothing you cannot do, Libra. Just believe in yourself. Are you a guy or a girl? All right, let's please some clarifiers with the Muse Tarot. Let's have a look in the center here where you're giving birth to your dreams. Uh, some of you stepping into a leadership role, feeling more confident. Okay, you got the two of voices. Some of you are overthinking things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and you got the ace of voices. Spirit saying you have to see the truth in situations. I'm going to say Libra, where well, you're tripping yourself up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at release. Just letting go of things. Oh, you're going to have a towel moment or there's a towel moment coming where you're going to realise that you need to let go of things from the past, which is either people, situations, things that haven't worked out. It could be the way in which you approach life, something about that. Oh, yeah, anything to do with the five of emotions where you feel like it's been hurtful needs to be released. So you may have shoved it down. Oh, it's going to lead to death and rebirth. Oh, hello, we've got a big metamorphosis going on here. Well, you've got the five of voices. So there may be somebody wanting to apologise to you, you wanting to apologise to someone else. Smooth things over. Mm, when you do, this clearance, this release, is going to bring you into this beautiful energy here, which is very watery energy. So it's going to clear your energy. And it's very much about you focusing on self-care, mm -hmm. your health, your well-being. All right, let's have a look at the present where you need to take the mask off around things that you're saying to yourself that's holding you stuck and the Spirit's saying things are in progress. Yeah, again, you've got the wheels, so it's come out twice. Things are going to suddenly shift forward. Let's have a look at the lovers here sitting in the future position. Mm, wow, this is interesting. You've got the seven of inspiration, which is protecting, feeling like you need to protect what you've created. So some of you are feeling very protective over your assets. Mm -hmm. And you've got the ten of inspiration, which is you choosing which cups you're going to fill. So this love coming in could bring up all sorts of fears and insecurities within you. Mm -hmm. Because their energy is beautiful. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, you got the six of emotions, possibly looking backwards on things that didn't work out and suddenly you've got a beautiful love here. So um, I'm going to suggest a resource for you, for those of you that message resonates with you, is that uh, I've done an e-book and a masterclass on emotional triggers, right? Because sometimes what happens is we can feel like there's certainly a release that needs to happen, right? I'm not denying there's things within you that need to be released. 
Uh, but what can happen is when we feel like we're coming to a place of balance and then we get into a new relationship that looks amazing, uh, all the old stuff that we haven't dealt with, all the usual fears and insecurities that you have just bubble to the surface, which means that you could sabotage that by not managing your triggers. So be worth, if that message resonates with you, is because we can then become, feel like, increasingly vulnerable and sensitive versus being very grounded before before that person entered our life. Mm -hmm. uh, I would recommend that you do that one uh, or even just grab the ebook. It's literally the price of a cup of coffee, darlings. <laughs> yes, I'll just get in here. All right, let's have a look at your energy where you're feeling like there's a lot coming in towards you. You may need to protect yourself and this new love offer. Again, spirit saying things are in progress. All right. Don't rush this connection. It's going to happen in divine timing. Oh, some of you feeling like this. Have a look at that. Feeling a bit hopeless. Why, Libra? <laughs> mm, spirit saying you need quiet time. You're feeling like you're going to go into hermit mode. Maybe you're going to respond by going into hermit mode. Mm -hmm. Any guidance there? Oh, Spirit's saying you've got to manage your emotions. Yeah, it's come out again. You need to bring those emotions into balance. All right, let's have a look at the energies around you where Spirit's saying if there's anything going on around your money, you need to get some guidance on that. And there's a beautiful Ten of Cups here. <laughs> Happy family. Oh, there's so much celebration going on. In the spirit realm around this connection, 10 on 10. Uh -huh. Oh, you've just got to find your strength, darlings. Strength within you. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears where it's very practical with your money, putting savings aside, and spirit saying everything's going to start shifting forward for you with a wheel. Oh, yeah. You've got the Empress here, which is putting out the seeds of creation into the universe. I mean, you've got pull the Empress twice now, as well as the Arrow Master, which is putting your intentions out to the universe. And Spirit's saying you've got the six materials here. Whatever you put out in effort, it's going to come back to you in kind, right? Financial rewards. Even if it's growing your money, uh, let's have it, or investing your money, let's have a look at the outcome, which is you believing in yourself more, trusting yourself. Okay, you've got the five of inspiration. Spirit's saying you've got to watch how you treat people on your path, Libra, unless you fall down a rabbit hole. Aww. I have to say in the context of emotional triggers going on. Mm -hmm. Any other guidance thing? Oh, we've got the seven of voices, sly foxes. So I don't know if you've dealt with deception in the past, you're worried about it coming up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's a time for a brand new fresh start. So the past is over, right? You've learned your lesson from the past. Even if it was something deceptive, don't keep reliving it and bringing those fears up. And if you keep bringing that feeling of lack of dis lack of trust with new people in your life, then you need to do some healing and balancing around that because this is a beautiful brand new fresh start that wants to happen for you. Mm -hmm. Love to know if that resonates. All right. <laughs> Let's pull you some guidance from the uh, Nature's Whispers Oracle. Oh, Spirit's saying you've got to be gentle with yourself. Any states where you're getting a little overwhelmed, you've got to be kind and gentle with yourself. Yeah, everything that wants to happen for you is new. New experiences and possibilities. So this death and rebirth, this tower moment, is completely closing the door on the past. You cannot return to the past, my love. You can only move forward. All right, let's pull you some guidance around your abundance flows. Uh, you've got bountiful nature. So whenever you're in a little bit of a funk, get out in nature, even if it's just sitting out in nature. Uh -huh. Feel the beauty of nature. Nature's free. Uh -huh. Oh, I love this. Oh, my God, this is hilarious. Um, I didn't write these, okay, so don't shoot the messenger. It says no more complaining. Uh, yeah. It says complaints are an affirmation of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming you have an abundance of choices and freedom. 
with your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch those positive affirmations blossom into reality. Oh, my loves. <laughs> it's like the universe just gave you a tender little smack. Yep. Oh, you pulled savings again. You're on notice here, Libra, that you need to be practical with your money and put some money aside, right? Because it's going to help you feel more secure no matter what's going on around you, around finances and career, if you've got that buffer of money there. All right, let's pull you a crowning energy from the Pegasus Oracle. Mm. Oh, I'm not surprised this has come out. You've got Pegasus, the water guardian. Have a look at that. It's actually swimming through the water. Whenever we pull water, there's a clearance of some sort that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Let's pull you up the guidance. There's Libra. Pegasus, soul guide and guardian, manifest the elemental healing powers of water to restore comfort and nurture your soul. This guidance assures you that a shift onto a path of grace will bring you renewal and relief from ever more difficult challenges. Open your heart and mind to the possibility of a gentler, more loving journey. Blessings of the element of water remind us to return to the source, to soften and allow ourselves to be supported, comforted and held. These blessings are capable of lifting our burdens so that our souls experience ease, recover strength, and process karmic energies more gracefully. Pegasus brings the message that something meaningful and divinely destined is gestating within the soul. It needs protection, patience and trust so it may continue to develop out of the sight of prying eyes, opinionated minds or jealous saboteurs. In time, the inner development will mature and become ready to emerge above the surface, leading to profound and positive changes. Continue on your path and give yourself time and space to feel comforted and nurtured. Dive deep into your inner self, trusting in the quiet, steady determination of the soul will ensure your sacred fulfillment at the best possible time and in the best possible way. You are healing. Wow. It's all about you surrendering into a more gentle flow of life around yourself, your feelings. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below on how this reading resonated for you. Don't forget, enter the competition. Do reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need extra guidance and support at this time. Go and grab those coupons if you want to take advantage of the offer that's happening this month. It ends at the end of June on the discounts on the Masterclass memberships. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.